Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be a testing as seen on TV products video because I see a lot of people do this and it looks one, really fun, and two, some people find some pretty useful stuff in these actually. I've never actually seen any of these products on TV, but apparently they're seen on TV. But anyway, I just thought that this was going to be a fun video to do, so I picked out four different products and they're all products that I feel like I would actually use. I tried not to get anything that I didn't actually want. So if these things work, I'm actually going to use them. Yeah, let's go ahead and give it a go with the first product. And that is this five second fix. So basically it says fix, fill, and seal in seconds. Five second fix liquid plastic welding tool. It bonds plastic, wood, metal, glass, fabric, and more. Repair virtually anything better than glue. So basically it looks like it's just this little tool and it says you apply liquid plastic, cure with the UV light, and then it's fixed. So let's give it a go. It has some kind of like easy open thing here on the back, but it's obviously not that easy. Ow. Oh, okay. This is a struggle. Okay, I have this out of the package now. Ooh, there's already like glue on it. Warning, may be harmful if swallowed. Yep, I can believe that. Wait. It's only staying on for like one second. So here for me to try to put back together are these sunglasses that are some cheap sunglasses that I got from CSU for free at some event, like my freshman year or something. But I'm gonna throw them out anyway, but I guess I'll try to fix them. And I'm gonna go ahead and set this camera up too so that you guys can see what I'm doing better close up. Okay, so here we have these glasses and I'm gonna try to put this back together. It doesn't really fit well together anyway, but we're gonna see. Okay, how do I apply it? Do I like press it down? Do I press this down? Do I twist? Oh, it's all sticky. How do I, oh, am I supposed to squeeze? Oh, okay, you squeeze it. We got it, we got it. Okay, so we have that thin little layer on there. If you... And now I'm going to attach this onto here. Not really attaching very well, but I'm gonna try it anyway. I think I need a little bit more glue. And then I do the UV light. How long? How long am I supposed to be doing this for? So here I'm putting the UV light on it for like, I don't know, a few seconds or something. I'll put it on the other side. I must say that like, actually worked. You can still see that like, you know, they're obviously broken there. Like, this totally worked. Like, I'm giving it a good amount of pressure and it's not coming undone. Okay, I give this one a thumbs up. This like, actually worked like really well. <laughs> I'm impressed. The only thing I'm kind of wondering about is how many times can I use this? There can't be like that much glue in here and somehow glue got all over the cap or something. Like it's kind of already exploded. And the light is a little iffy. It likes to just kind of like turn off or not turn on. See, I, I don't know. But yeah, I think this was worth it. Thumbs up from me. Okay, so this next hack is this. It's a Clever Cutter two-in-one knife and cutting board. And I've seen this a lot. Like I've seen a lot of other people test it and I think it looks really cool. And I would use this like all the time in my apartment up at college. And so I'm really hoping that it works because I'm always like pretty lazy to have to get out the whole cutting board and knife and everything. So if I can just use that, that's gonna be super awesome. So let's go ahead and open it and try it out. Okay, well that's nice that it has this like locking mechanism so that you know, you don't just have like a knife laying out like that. So I'm gonna try to cut some sugar snap peas. Let's see. Ooh, oh my gosh. That works so well. Do you see this? 
Wow. Okay, I'm gonna try to cut some like cheese or something. Okay, can it cut this like huge block of cheese? Oh my gosh. Oh, oh, oh. Whoa. That is so cool. Okay, I think this thing like totally works. I'm wondering how like long the knife is going to last and if it's gonna like, I don't know, become less sharp and stuff, but I can sharpen it. I don't know, that is, I, I am impressed by this and I really like it, so thumbs up from me. Okay, now we're in my car because I have this clever grip thing. It's a portable phone mount and it says it's good for GPS, hands-free talking, video chat, movies, music, blah blah blah. Okay, don't use it for hands-free talking and do not use it for video chat. But I can see it being useful for like having your GPS so you can see where you're going and maybe for music if you want to just like skip a song real quick or something. Okay, so it's supposed to like go onto your vent. Put it on here and push it on. Yeah, like that. How do I make it like stay up? It's just gonna fall down. Maybe if I just like put it down here or something. Okay, so I kind of just put it on like that. Okay, it does extend enough to fit my phone. So overall, I think I'm pretty happy with this. It's a little hard to put on because of the pop socket and stuff. And my phone is pretty heavy and I'm afraid it's just gonna fall off. Um, it might not work that well, but I might just keep it in here and try it out occasionally if I need to. But please never ever use something like this to text or to video message anyone or to call anyone or anything like that. Even though it's hands-free and people think that that's fine to call, that's not okay. It's the conversation you're having with someone who's not in the car that makes you very distracted when you're driving. So I'm just telling you guys that so you don't use this for purposes that it should not be used for. I think it could be helpful for directions and possibly music, but that's about it. But yeah, I guess it works. I think it's a little bit hard because it's gonna keep falling down. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and give this like an okay thumbs up. Um, yeah, it's all right, but I probably won't use it that much and it's not like that great of a device. Okay, and lastly, I have this True Touch Five Finger D Shedding Glove. So it's for cats or dogs, and basically it's just a glove that you put on your hand, and then you pet your cats, and then it's supposed to get a lot of the fur off them. So let's see what this looks like here. Important safety instructions. Use this product only for its intended use. Blah, blah, blah. It looks like pretty self-explanatory. So it's a velcro thing here, yeah. You put this on like a glove and then you just need a cat. Hey, Rosie, come here. Oh, did you just get hit in the eye with calm hit? Oh, I wanted to touch you. Are, is your eye okay? Guys, I just heard them fighting in there and now look at her eye. Rosie, come here, come here, sweetie. No, come, and now she's scared. She's crying. Okay, Rosie's gonna go eat food. Comet, come here. Come here. I need someone to test this out on and then I need to see if Rosie's okay because it looks like you hurt her. Okay, I'm gonna go pick up the cat because she's not coming. Okay. This is Comet. Oh, you guys can't even see her. <laughs> My cats are not being cooperative right now. Okay, I'm back and we're just gonna, I don't know where one of my cats went, but Comet is here and I feel like Rosie probably ran away because Comet was mean to her. <laughs> Never mind, she does not want to be picked up and she does not want to move over here. Okay, I got one cat here. She's a little bit upset about what the other cat did to her. I need to test out a glove. No, no, you need to come back. See, does that feel good? How does that feel? I don't know. Do you like it? Does that feel good? You like that? Look at that. Oh, mm, yeah. Yeah? Does that feel good? Does that feel good? Ooh. See? I think she likes it. Look how fat you are, Rosie. But, you guys, look how much fur came off of that. I think that's pretty successful. Okay, well, I think this was a success. I got a lot of hair on that glove, and oh, I think some of it is getting into my nose. 
Oh, and there's hair on my arm too. Great, okay. And also, Rosie seemed to like it, so that's all good. At some point when I find Comet, I might try it on her too, uh, because she's a long hair cat, and I might see how it's different from Rosie, who's a short hair. But overall, it got a lot of hair, and the cat liked it, so I'm gonna give this a thumbs up. But anyway, yeah, so uh, that's the end of my video. Those are all the products I had to test out. I hope you guys enjoyed watching, and I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Say bye, Rosie! Bye! Uh, bye! Now there's cat hair all in my mouth. Mm, mm. Cat hair everywhere, cat hair everywhere, abort mission. Hey, Comet. Do you like this too? Let's see. Yeah? No? Oh. Okay. <laughs>